Hey, what is up you guys? You're watching Sergio Secrets. Before I get started with today's video, if you can please give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. I post a video um, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any one of my uploads. If you're into more of that shopping and contemporary designer vibes, go ahead and subscribe to El Canal. It's going to be kind of like, what I'm gonna start doing is like my shopping vlogs, but all the bonus in between different days. So instead of just doing one, I may combine them into a couple of days. So I don't have any plans of shopping today other than what I'm doing right now. So right now I'm at the outlets wanting the l'oreal outlet with so cosmetics lancome and all these different brands i want i got an email saying that they have half off i'm looking for a graduation gift so i'm going to be seeing what they have they have something i'm looking for something that like an 18 year old that just graduated high school i want to buy like a pretty decent gift so we'll see what they have if not then i may have to resort to my plan b but I also want to ask you a question, guys. So I bought this Balenciaga shirt about like nine, maybe like 10 months ago. And I only worn it like two times, right? Because I ended up getting a hole. I honestly, I think I took it to the cleaners and maybe they made the hole. So if you guys have any idea of how, if I should stitch this up, if I should make more rips on the t-shirt, like I would love, honestly love your advice because I really like the color of this shirt. Usually, you know, I wear black, white, black, white, and gray, but I really like this shirt. I did spend quite a bit of money on it. So if you guys have any idea or how should I fix it, I would love, love, love to hear your advice. And yeah, so we are at the Grand Prix outlet. Let's go ahead and go and see what they have. Every time I come here, they just keep losing more and more stores. <sighs> like I remember this used to be a Calvin Klein and now it's an Adidas. There used to be a Joe's Boutique. There used to be a lot more other stores, but I think like, I think this was like a Fox store, but the clientele in this area is a lot different. It's a little bit more kind of like your typical brand. Let's see what they have. Oh, that is really pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? I have that palette. It's called the Born to Run. Yeah, I like the colors. I like this one too. This ultimate one. Mm -hmm. That was twenty one fifty. These ones are half off. That's actually that one has an extra thirty percent. I like that set because I feel like everybody needs setting spray. Oh heck yeah, for sure. Sixty one. Okay, that's final with tax and everything. Okay, we'll put that one on the side. Okay, so we'll do that okay. one. Actually, can we put it up front here so I can see what else? Yeah. I want to make it kind of like a bundle. Okay, so. Do you know what colors these ones are? These ones are lipsticks, right? Mm -hmm. If there's any kind of pinky or nudish color. This one's gonna be a pink. She, she would wear that color. How much would that this one be? Really bright. Mm -mm, she wouldn't like that one. Then, um, this one's 70. We might have that. Ooh, I, can I use, ooh, yeah, she may like that one. She might like that one? Okay. Yeah, you can check them out. Ooh, yeah. Do you, do you, it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. The last one. Welcome to go back there. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. 15% off. It's the... Uh, 
25 and 50. How much is this one? The thing is, I think she 40, may. 50, so it's gonna be 20 bucks. 20 bucks? The thing is, I think she may have that one already. She may have I know she has like a lot, of, some of the naked palettes. Because oh, usually that's what, you know, usually that's what, um, mm -hmm. you know, people get for gifts and stuff. Right. They have all of these that are 50 percent off plus 25. And then all of these are like six dollars. And then all of this is gonna be 25 plus half off. Even like the classic curler right there, the bronzer. They have the lipstick and some Armani face fabric. The little sponge too. 25 plus 50. The Naked 2. All of these lip colors from YSO are 40 plus 50. This lip palette. These other items. Eyeshadow colors. Right and they now. have all of these. Mm -hmm. calling right now. Okay. My phone's on because I'm waiting for that call. Okay, I think we'll do the. We'll just do these four right here. Okay. And I'm ready to check out. Plus fifty. Um, everything there is either sixty or seventy percent off. Oh, okay, 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 okay. These are so cute. Oh, the blush and blender, little macaron, and all this. 50 plus 40. They have a lot of great deals. And I didn't know that Atelier Cologne was also a part of the brand's Olancom skincare. Well, these are Mani fragrances. They have a lot of good stuff, and then they have all these. YSL that are 25 and then 50 to have all these foundations. These lip products are all 25 and then 50. All these gift sets are like half off. So these are 10, 13, 15. Like, and they're full size because you have the big one. And that has, yeah, full size. And these ones are full size too. Please put the line. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of good deals. A lot, a lot, a lot. Do you have a wonderful you day. I, hope you like it. I think she will. Thank you. I got a good deals guys. I got them all and I paid less than $70 for... Hey guys, I'm back in my car. I wanted to say, I don't really know. A lot of people have been watching my videos in the area. So the lady was super lovely. I told her I was looking for a graduation gift. She went, she went out 
of her way to help me out. And even though I already knew, and usually I'm the type of person that shops by themselves and doesn't really need like people helping me, but the way she approached me is very nice. I really, really appreciate it. So by the time you see this video, I have already given her the stuff. So I got her this It Cosmetics. And the reason why I share like gifts and stuff, cause you could be like, well, it, you're kind of like showing gifts that are gonna be for other people. Well, I get them for great deals. And I want you guys to know that you guys can always give really great gifts, really great prices. Go like for myself, I always go above and beyond for people that I really like and that I really care for. Um, I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have like a lot of people that I talk to. Everything is super niche and super close to me. So I just really appreciate a lot of the people that I have in my life that, you know, it's not a lot. I'm not like a people pleaser. I just, you know, I'm just myself. So I got this brush set that has five brushes in a kit. She's 18. I've had a cosmetics brushes and I still do. I don't really wear makeup like that, but when I do, I do use the Kabuki flat top. And so it has it right here in a set. So they hold up really well. So I thought that would be a really great gift. Right here is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. And this spray alone, I believe is $30. And then it has a little sponge. So this spray is $30. And this lipstick is like 35 So that right there is $70 without including the sponge. And it's like, and it's kind of like I got the other things for free. So I'm not gonna open the lipstick for sanitary reasons, but it's in the color 70. It's such a great deal. Like this alone is $30 and you get a sponge. You the prices of everything, guys, just so you can understand how many good stuff that there always are. So for everything, I paid like $68. So this brush set right here, guys, this brush set, and these brushes are kind of pricey, $22, guys. $22 is what I paid for that. This was $13.50. This was $11.50. And then the mascara was $7.50. So that's like drugstore prices, guys. Like The mascara is even lower than the drugstore. You know what I mean? Like drugstore, mas drugstore makeup is expensive. I was at Target the other day trying to buy some Honest Beauty and it was kind of expensive. And eyelash curler that's the price of a drugstore eyelash curler this is the price like two of these brushes alone at the drugstore will pay for this like there are really good deals so if you live near a l'oreal outlet i would definitely go i knew what to try definitely worth checking you can call i believe they do curbside pickup as well it really hasn't been busy so they had a lot of selection honestly i feel like people don't really know about it so he's new about this place and the cco but i know the cco is more popular because this outlet mall isn't as popular as allen or grapevine or the new one in fort worth that are here in the dfw area so definitely worth a check definitely give them a call if you're looking for something in particular a lot of great deals and but you guys like me showing you all the good deals i'm gonna go home i'm gonna edit i'm about to upload a vlog from yesterday i'm about to put it live on my channel and then i'm gonna get up get ready and i think i'm gonna drop this off i'm gonna package it up really cute as a gift or if not i'll do that tomorrow but yeah, I'll see you guys on the next part of this vlog. It could be later today or it could be tomorrow. The track ones? Yeah. And I didn't buy them. But did you see the sock ones that I posted on my Instagram? They were $2.50, but I didn't buy them. I was like, Guys, you see that line at Victory's Secret? That's wild. We're doing some shopping at the Galleria. They've been closing a lot of stores. This used to be Belk. This used to be a J. Crew. There's not a lot of stores here left. But we're actually going to um, look. Zara's closed. There's only two Zara's in the DFW area. And this is one of them. They're both in Dallas. But we're actually going to go buy a pair of shoes that I've been wanting for a while from Toy Birch. I've been wanting them for literally like four months. And I've been waiting to see if I want them or if I don't want them and I decided today was going to be the day that I'm going to pull the plug and yeah so this used to be bulk it's all closed but let's go ahead and North go to Nordstrom and try on this these are the shoes that I've been wanting they have them in navy and then these ones are on sale and they have all these Miller sandals like I love this ring color I love this one my mom has basically all of these that one but I've been really wanting what do you think getting there like a core do you prefer these ones over the which one would you pick? All white. I kind of like the all white ones. Look, feel them. Like, they feel like they're comfortable. I like my house doesn't stand there. Yeah, because it's kind of like sleek. It'll go well with all my uh, Toy Birch accessories. I'm really wanting these shoes, guys. So, top is from Uniqlo. I'm using my new Marc Jacobs Snapchat and the silver hardware. I really like the way it kind of gleams. 
mother denim, Givenchy sneakers, and a Nina Bean blazer. And that's my outfit of the day. This is fire. Here you go, Big Foot. Oh my god, guys, I wish I fit into Brandy Melville. <laughs> Those were like the high school days. And only the oversized stuff is what was my actual size. It could never fit into anything else. I think from Brandy Mobile and it ripped. We're just gonna see what they have for handbags because the other location had a markdown and we're just gonna see what they have here. Now there's any designer handbag markdowns. Just how I got lucky with the Toy Birch handbags. So they have all these, oh, they have a Ferragamo tote. Lovely. It's $5.99. The tray birches are still $150. And the other one's $150 too. You know, I paid like $70 for that bag and it's $150 here. God, they have a YSL bag. For $1,700, they have a Stella McCartney wallet. But, they, but they're still a little bit pricey. And then here, they have more Burberry, some toy birch, and yeah. They don't really have anything, so love your little wavy bag. It's so pretty with phone case. Line up lemon. I don't. I don't think we'll we'll take a big hit because Texas people. Texas people love to open. Texas people love to make money. So our our economy will be fine. A lot of the stuff that they have in there. Nordstrom Rack. I have. Oh my god. These shorts. I'm gonna see if I can cuff, cuff them up. They are size 20, size 6, 41. And then I'm just gonna try on these mother jeans. And then look how pretty. Hey, Rack Shoppers, one forty dollar bonus now. My new bag. I didn't know this was like a little mark. Get approved and make a purchase today, and your forty dollar bonus will be on its way. Look at that. It's that easy. Summer shirts. There was a huge line at the Louis Vuitton store. The flagship one. I had to go another day. So me and my friend are here and we're shopping at the Balenciaga store and you're about to get a pair of shoes, right? How excited do you feel? for a minute and I've been trying to find them somewhere else but oh my god only here oh, I feel I normally don't vlog too much in designer stores but I decided right now would be a really good time it's very edited Then the stores are Go by the mirror. Matt saddlebag is fire. And look at the pink one in the belt. You're hungry now? We still have like 30, 35 minutes. What do you like most about your shoes? Honestly, they're super comfortable. You, they're so comfortable? Yeah, usually I'm like a seven in European, but these are actually really comfortable. They're um, fire. I like how this is kind of like a neutral silver and then the, last, the laces. It comes with another pair of laces, but they're the same thing. But I really like how the laces are like a neutral. Do you recommend them? Yeah. Highly recommend them. Fire. Fire. Only downfall is that they're kind of heavy.
Qué bonito está Dallas, right? <laughs> My vlog girl. Yeah, sure. I'm tired. Me too. I don't like the fucking potato. No. I needed this after a long day. I'm doing nothing besides managing. You need to get a little bit of a break, guys. Sure. So we got some it's funny obstacles. So we met other girls. Girl, they're having a conversation. <laughs> Look, they're having the conversation of their lives. If you guys have tried Tartar Harper, definitely let me know down below. I know they use a little bit of fragrance in their skincare, but I still hear it's pretty great. So I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions on Tartar Harper skincare. Good. Okay, guys. So <laughs> I got kicked out of Sephora for filming, guys. I'll take my business somewhere else. I have a question for you guys. Would you wait in line to the Gucci store? So this is the Gucci store, and it's like that line right there, and then this line right here. Would you wait in it? Yes or no? I would love to hear a response because I definitely would not. Like Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Lululemon have like lines every single time. Guys, I would be so embarrassed if I got kicked out of here. But we're trying to get you some quality um, content. Popping full price in your life. It's okay, this line. Ooh, this is so cool. They still have the vintage tag on it. This is so cute. Oh, wow. oh so this is more of like the men's type of denim. They have Hudson, J Brand 7. I feel like they're very low staffed for whatever reason. Oh, they carry Peter Millar, Millar, Millar here? Mm -hmm. I didn't That's know that. Birthday. I didn't know they carried that here. Mm -hmm. Why Burberry. So we are at North Park Center, Neiman Marcus. I didn't really know. I know they have a store in South Lake. They carry Rod and Gun too. I haven't been in here in a long time. That could have, that could have been too. They have all this theory section, work pants, that navy polo is gorgeous. Ooh, suede bench shirt, that's so pretty. And then they have a Burberry boutique. <laughs> Did that say why me? Yeah. <laughs> they have this, so they have a little Burberry boutique. I believe Montclair jackets used to be here. Give you an outfit of the day, so. Uniqlo top, my Veronica Beard blazer, my Toy Birch Nano girlfriend shorts, my Toy Birch Howell sneakers, and look at her skirt. It is so pretty. I love a little skirt moment. This is the full Burby boutique. I love this hoodie right here. I don't know how about I don't know how I feel about new Burberry. Like I really like it, but then I can see where it took away from 
the older clientele. Went from very, very don't, you, don't you think it went from being very traditional more to more trendy and more kind of streetwear? I mean, I like that for the younger customer, but I don't know how sustainable that is. But I like all this. Like, I do like new Burberry. Like, I would wear a lot of it. Probably not wear the white one. Probably would wear that one. I would wear this coat. Would wear this coat as well. Probably would not wear this. Classic backpack I would wear, this fanny pack I would wear, I would probably not wear that, probably would not wear that duffel. Would wear the puffy, would wear this. The velour ones I wouldn't wear, but this print right here. I think Naomi Campbell wore like something like that to the airport one time. I would wear that. See, this is old me. Old me would have worn this, but I wouldn't now. I wouldn't probably wear the polos either. How do you feel about this? I guess it's a nice stylist, but it's not I wouldn't wear that, honestly. I wouldn't wear this one either. You have some off whites, some socks, some swimwear, the Givenchy Moment, the glasses, and this is one of the top stores here. Oh, the Ravens. Ooh, how do you feel about the belt? I really like it. I don't really like the Christian Davidson one. I don't like this. Givenchy, uh, for a certain outfit, I don't like the Kenzo one. I really like, like this Prada one. But do you like the Prada one? I always get asked about belts or just stuff in general. I would probably, mm, I wouldn't wear any of it, but I could, I could appreciate this if it's done well. Maybe this one, but I personally wouldn't wear any of them. But they're really cute. The Ugg boot moment. I have more belts here. Ooh, I would wear this with Kenya. This is like up my alley. I would wear this one here. This is really pretty. The black one. And then they have some Tom Ford ones here. Six ninety. I've always liked the Tom Ford ones. I think they've always been really pretty. Ferragamo. This one's really pretty as well. Oh, that one too. But I really, really like the Tom Ford ones. Oh, let's take a little bit. I have to get some filming content for a second. Okay. How do you feel about these climbing projects, Cass? One time I saw them on sale at $200 at last corner. Yeah, Richard's a big fan of climbing projects. I can't speak all of those. I like the white ones. I don't know. My friend Sean has the black ones. He said they look like worse, but he doesn't really like them. I personally really like I like the white ones. Mm -hmm. I like the pink ones. I like even the gray ones, too. I don't know how I feel about the Burberry shoes. What do you think? I feel like you just have to wear what's your outfit and I feel like it's overkill, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's yeah. Zeppies and Naughties are not my thing. Are they your thing? No. I mean, if you like them, I'm just pursuing up the biggest Giuseppe's and Naughties fan. So you're like the nicest friend ever because like, I can never come here by myself and film because I feel like I would get kicked out. I feel like I'd get kicked out. Yes, you're like the best. So we have some Golden Goose sneakers. My favorite. Uh, I'm happy with the ones that I got from 130 from Mochi Mac. I don't care for off white. What do you think? Yeah, oh, here's some of the Dior shoes. Okay, okay. This one, these I would wear in a heartbeat. Not the high tops. I'm not a high top person, but these ones are both gorgeous. So I can't give you. Kind of, I've always kind of wanted these shoe, but I don't know. I never really went for it. Who about the Versace? I feel like the Texas I feel like the Texas or the Dallas customer they love loud merchandise. What do you think? I feel like they don't. I feel like that's very they don't? I feel like the Versace ones? Yeah, I see a lot of TikTokers on The Gucci shoes. How do we feel about McQueen? I don't like this I don't like the selection that they have. I've always wanted these ones. Cause these ones look these ones went on sale i got i got some sell list for some designer stuff and i saw these ones were for half off but i didn't go for them Gucci band, Gucci band. this is a very classic i cannot wait to buy another one to have in my collection because they're really nice like it's just a shoe that goes with everything and then the shoe that i have right here 
I just feel like anything like, like Gucci loafers, like, maybe not these ones, but anything that's like these, I love. They're like very mean. How do you feel about the Marmot in a loafer? I don't like it. I feel like, do you feel like Marmot is out of style or do you feel like it's overkill? How do you feel about it? I would wear these ones, but I wouldn't wear them all the time. Yeah. I like these. Gucci Baker. Okay. Always like these. The court ones. They, I, I would get them in the lipstick red. Right oh, they're these. These ones. But I would get the red ones, so. These are really pretty. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that the classic court ones are. I have some Christian Louboutins, Louboutin. <laughs> see, out of all the crazy ones you see, guys, this is probably the one that I would get. I'm just such like a simple person. I don't know, I'm not the biggest. Oh, they have Manolos for men. I did not know that. I like those espadrilles, either or. Basically, this this like vlog is just like stuff that I like that are like yes or no. Some Versace. Not for me, but I really appreciate Versace items. I have to get away. The hammock? And it's not the hammock, I always put the game. I have the ones with the chain here. The chain one's too much for me. I feel like it's heavy. I'm not bad. Unless I was like very Oh, it has a good amount of weight to it. I feel like it's too heavy. Yeah, it's, it has a little bit of weight to it. I was, I was expecting it to be a little bit more hollow. Mm -hmm. But it's really pretty, but I wouldn't ever buy for it. I think it's like, I think it's 36. These ones, but in no oblique, but in the blue oh, one. I feel like you can always wear those for the rest of your life. That's true, like some Avery jeans with the Chanel thing box fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look. That is hilarious. This is cute. Yeah, just tell me like it. How much is that? Rose. Mm -hmm. Balenciaga oversized um, jacket, and the collar says Balenciaga. It's four ten plus clear the rack, so it'd be like three hundred dollars. How do we feel, guys? I feel like, you know who I feel like? I feel like Ariana Grande. It's like oversized. You know, I think they have the same stuff as last time. I like that Gucci Zumi. This one. That one's so cute. If that had a mark, then I'd buy it. And it will see. So we're going to be showing you some of the is additional 25% off. These are cute. I saw somebody with these. Long shot. Look, feel them. They feel squishy. It's literally so high. These are cute. Like That's like a whole moment though. It's so happy. Those are cute. That's really that's a really good price for the brand. 140 plus the 25. 
189 plus 25. They have these new Saint Laurent espadrilles. They have this little long shot bag, some Johnny Was, a Gucci dust bag for I don't know for what it is. A little green little baby <laughs> throw up moment. Um, a Stella McCartney Falabella and a long shot bag. And yeah, we're just here shopping and we're gonna be seeing what we can find today. We look how pretty this is. Toy Birch from last year's collection. Look, these are your size. Those are so cute. Con las estrellas. I like anything with stuff. Oh my god, look, they have um, all, this, all this designer um, swimwear. All this Troy Birch swimwear. $80. Then, this is a brand that I don't really care for as well, but they do have some of this Roberto Cavalli swim and this Troy Birch little swims as well. Those vents. I like them. I, yeah, it's so weird because I like them cut. The compact rib. Mm -hmm. I like anything that's ribbed. Maybe. But I just bought the Anina Ming one. <laughs> Ribs. Well, I know like a lot of brands, I mean, a lot of department stores and all the places canceled a lot of orders. One twenty five. How do you feel about this? Is it simple? It's forty dollars. Girl, give me a size medium. Fittings are closed, but I'll just buy it. Seventy dollars. What you say? I don't know how I feel about these tees. I like them. They're like really nice material. Yeah, I have I have those in I literally have those in white, and like they're so see through. Toy birch slacks. Cute. Oh my god, they carry Veronica beard now at the at the runway. Look, I have these pants. These are the Lago pants. I have two of these. Give it there. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, a lot of brands just. A lot of VB. Veronica beard. $80, these Veronica Beard trousers. So I think the white top it is. Classic white top, it's a size small. Let's see if it fits. Oh look, they have the children's play shoes here. So we I didn't know they had that. Guys, it's Sergio's Secret to come back here. Before I end the vlog, and I wanna say thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Probably by the time I upload, I should be right there or a little bit less or a little bit more at 22,000 subscribers um different i want you guys to get to see a little bit more of a different side of me like what do i do how am i interacting with other people and so i just decided to for this week's vlog would be a little bit more a little bit more social and if you do want to see that um like a weekly one i don't mind necessarily doing it or i can do two like one where this week we're only going to be shopping at Neiman Marcus for a vlog and then we'll put like another kind of weekly vlog with everything else included. Um, but definitely let me know down below. But I asked you guys some questions a couple of days ago. Sorry, I've just, so much stuff has been happening. Um, you like guys like my vintage shirt. It's a sync shirt, Justin Timberlake, like in a size like large and I got it on eBay for like $25. Like, but like three or four years ago, like it's one of, it's like absolutely my favorite shirt. Like I had... A really really like impulsive like in sync moment like sophomore year of high school yeah I asked you guys ask a question to be featured on tomorrow's video so like I said so much of this has been happening it's swimming cansado like I've just been stressed with a lot of different things um, more personal stuff but 
Um, I will never give up on this channel. This channel is my love. I love our relationship. But um, I am going to be answering those questions for you guys. Um, not sure if I'll enter the actual question here, but we'll see. So, first one is, let's do a collaborate on a sun video. Yeah, we can definitely do it. For me, the way I would do it is more of like a IDTV and where we just kind of split it half and half. Maybe talk about our favorite sunglasses because... Um, every summer I tend to always have like those few kind of three or four glasses that siempre I always reach for. So yeah, I feel like that'd be a really nice IGTV segment because I get requested to do IGTV segments. So I feel like that'd be a really interactive one. So yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know if the lighting's like a little weird. I kind of adjusted the lighting. Hopefully it looks a lot better. The second one is, can you inside of the white mark Jacob's back to see how big or small it is, please? So let me grab it and I'll show you guys. So this is the Marc Jacobs, this is the strap, and then this is the actual bag. So I'll give you like a reference of like a regular card case just to see how much you fit inside of it. So on the first zipper right here, um, it is very narrow. You don't really fit a lot, but on the larger one is where you get kind of all that extra space. There's a little pocket right there, and it says um, the Marc Jacob. It's like a little bit more wider. This would be a little bit more smaller, and you have a back pocket. But I'm going to put my cell phone here and the card case. As you can see, it fits in there perfectly, and you still have all this space here in the back and then you have the little back pocket so for me i know they say this is more of a smaller bag and it is more of a smaller bag but just because it's a small bag doesn't mean a lot in it and i also could fit the camera that i'm filming on right here and my keys and they'll be perfectly fine but yeah i just put these two in here so you can kind of have a reference of what you can fit in it but you'll be seeing Omar jacobs um guide on my channel really soon so i'll talk more about my mark jacobs snapchat but yeah, so that is what fits in there. Hopefully that answers your question. If you have any more about the Marc Jacobs, just um, send me a DM on Instagram and I'll, um, I can send you like a video if you want to see what certain things fit in it. But any upcoming trips, if yes, where? So right now, um, there is a trip. I'm going to stay in state in Texas. Um, it's going to be within the next kind of month, month and a half. I'll let you guys post it on where I, I end up going. And I am planning um, an out-of-state trip. Maybe seeing some more trips soon. It's just right now, I'm just kind of like, you know, the whole situation. Um, I just kind of want to see how things are headed in the next month. And then we'll go from there. Next one is, have you seen the code Coach Napolo Vlad? Have you seen the Coach Pride collection? Yes, I saw it. I saw it many times on my Instagram stories. Like, you know how, like, when you swipe in, they're like sponsored i have seen it i want to see it in person but it came with like a pride backpack and it's actually really nice like i saw it on the macy's website and i was like hmm macy's are you tempting me i do like the kate seed backpack is something that i do like um but as far as the cartoon i would love love to see it and play with it in person but i have seen um people that i know um have this collection and they really really like it and like i said coach you can never go wrong with the next question is how do you tuck so for this answer is I don't. I don't at all. What are some of your style inspirations? So some of my style inspirations um, is just um, a lot of like the Instagrammers that I follow. Like I follow a UK blogger called um, Emma Hill. I follow Tamara. She's kind of more of like of a designer type like YouTuber. I usually just watch YouTube videos honestly. I see what gets recommended on my feed on Instagram. And I just take inspiration from a lot of people a lot of different places a lot of different cultures so for me i don't particularly have like a lot of like certain style inspirations like oh my god i see what only let's say ariana grande wears just as an example or only what justin timberlake wears and that's what i'm only gonna wear um i feel like for myself i kind of known myself the last couple of months and i know what i like and i don't what i don't like and um for me i definitely take a lot more women's inspiration than men inspiration as far as style but i don't have that to go person or those to go people where i go for style i just kind of see what i like or what i don't like i tried on i play with it recommendations of affordable classy bags so how did you know guy how did you know Millie rojas how did you know 
I'm actually filming a video. Well, I just got done filming a video like yesterday. Um, my top favorite um, contemporary bags that look expensive. So you'll be seeing that video very, very soon. But how would you know? How would you know? But yeah. <laughs> are Toy Birch outlet bags different from the original Toy Birch bags? Yes, they are different. So there are styles that are only produced off price. And then there's also styles that were a couple seasons ago or that get discontinued from full like full retail or full or kind of wholesale division that kind of get into the outlet next question if you could only keep one bolsa designer and one contemporary bag what would it be so i thought about this one when i got this question so let me press the person Arabel, Arabel, hi um oh i thought about this question i was like okay what's that what i keep if i had to keep one designer one contemporary so honestly my designer bag that i'm gonna be keeping if i just had to pick one would be my dior book tote definitely definitely dior book tote because i just feel like this bag is a good travel bag it's a good work bag it's a good put all your stuff in a bag like i feel like they get patolo it's very um i know it's fabric but for me i've been it's been holding up really well blue is my favorite color if you can't tell or navy um besides like kind of white and black but i would probably keep this one because it'd just be the most practical one and if i have to keep one contemporary bag it probably be probably be my coach cassie just because i have the best of both worlds i would have like a nice oversized toe a good travel bag a good work bag a good bag to have you know to carry a lot of stuff i would have this one as more like a, my everyday bag where i feel like i can kind of make it into it for all occasions you know i feel like it can go with a lot you can carry a top handle you can carry it with the strap as a crossbody shoulder bag but yeah I, this would if i had to choose two bags in my collection um for the contemporary it would definitely be my coach cassie and for the designer route it would most likely be my um christian dior book token um, the same person also asked from your collection which would you keep i don't know what you mean by the question but i don't know if that means anything about my vlog so so i am having a vlog so guys on friday so um i'll leave the link down below request and that same friday um i'll um request i'll accept everybody and then you can kind of shop my closet um it's going to be about 30 items that are most likely going to be more designer contemporary um but i'll have a video about that explaining it all going to be a few bags that are going to be on my vlog so the question is would you ever meet up and go shopping with a fan um i don't really consider you guys fans i honestly really consider us more like family members like an extended family member or like friends because we kind of like get each other you know what i mean so i never look at anybody like as a fan or like let i don't know because i feel like fans like has like a bad like vibe like it's kind of I, I don't know i feel either than and i don't really see you guys like that i see you guys like honestly as friends like i meet a lot of you guys like very frequently now um well not frequently but like a couple times a week and um i don't consider you guys fans at all i honestly consider you guys like our friend like we we have something that we like we like designer bags we like contemporary bags we like fashion so i consider us like friends because we have in same interest in a lot of different things and so um yes i would go shopping with a subscriber or with a friend um obviously right now because of the whole situation probably not until like a couple of weeks but if i like another month or two you talk about your favorite your current favorite perfume and cologne for the summertime so let me go ahead and grab those honestly i really only been using one fragrance and this is the chanel barrett's um this one is in the 4.2 ounce and this one i bought last year i didn't really use it a lot but right now i have been using it quite a bit i love the bottle it's just it's just like it's a nice kind of citrusy set and i feel like it's a very unisex set so this is the probably the one that i've been using the most this question is if you were to buy a bag from hermes which one would it be and why um honestly i thought about buying like the Evelyn. i like it but i don't love it and honestly i really want an hermes birkin now that's something that i probably won't buy probably until a couple of years just because I really want to meet certain like life goals for me to buy that bag. And I don't know if I would go through the store process or I would go through the pre-love process or brand new through like a dealer, I guess. Probably get a Birkin. Um, 
30 or 35 in like a gray color a black color like a neutral like simple color and like silver hardware on next question is what came after chick-fil-a what do you do now so I don't really like to answer questions about what I do just for security purposes There's a lot of crazy people out there but what came after it is to learn the meaning of how to earn money at seven dollars and fifty cents it taught me how to save my money, it taught me how to budget, it taught me to pick and choose the items that I wanted to buy, if I wanted to go on a certain trip, if I wanted to buy a certain meal, like, it taught me um, to make decisions financially, um, that, so I feel like I learned a lot of valuable lessons working there, um, in a very nice and secure and stable way. I did learn a lot of financial and a lot of great lessons from working there, lessons that I will always have for the rest of my life. Next question is, what are there certain times of years that designers always go on sale so yes right now is actually sale season so from what i'm hearing a lot of distance of this whole situation um normally like in the department stores all the brands kind of go on sale at once i know like louboutin and chanel and dior and montclair those start typically on different dates through like wholesale like department stores but everything else like usually Givenchy and Chloe and Burberry and Saint Laurent and Gucci it usually start breaks in like all the same day this whole situation has been making everything kind of splattered so a lot of the sales have already started so I would definitely contact the sales associates and retail isn't doing so well so if you call I'm pretty sure they'll be really nice and help you out so let's say if you want to see what Gucci sell what Gucci shoes are on sale call Bloomingdale's and like in your area or if you don't have it call just a, a random store that kind of carries it on the website and if they're rude just call another store like they're not going to track and see what store you call like just be like hey like I'm looking for a Gucci shoe and a size 41 any sneakers you guys have any available and like I said a lot of business is really slow for a lot of companies so they're really nice to help you out and you can get a really great deal and they also get the commission for it so um, I would say right now is a really great time if you want to see um, how to go about getting like relationships with SA or how to go about getting more stuff on on sale and detail into that definitely let me know down below but yeah usually the sales start around now and then um, a lot of department stores do their sale like a week before Christmas or two weeks before Christmas and it usually goes all the way to like mid January but every brand and every department store and every wholesale is always going to be different. Next question is, when did you start getting into finding good deals for designers? Love you. Okay, I love you too as well. And for me, for me to good deals, I've always been a, um, a bargain shopper. I've always been a savvy consumer, a frugal consumer. Um, I don't know, like growing up, like I had an aunt that I was very, 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 very close with. Um, and she like taught me like, like I was like, 10 or 12 and she would always tell me like i can do whatever i want in life like she would tell me like how she would buy all this stuff like she she was just somebody that i aspired to be and that i wanted to be she carried herself in a very professional clean cut um alpha woman type energy and she would always kind of get stuff on sale like i said being a very savvy person so all that kind of rubbed off into me and so that's how i became like I beginning when i bought this key clay when i worked at chick-fil-a with my paycheck sent to the latest purchase that i made i've always known what to pay full price and off price like i got this full price like i think 200 dollars. but then i'll go around and you know Go to Nordstrom Rack and get these Aquatalia booties made in Italy, super comfortable for like fifty dollars that are once were sold at full price. I can also do a um, outlet versus full price style video as well. But yeah, I, I've always known the value of items and what things are actually worth. And the last one is, what is your favorite thing about your career? And like I said, we're not gonna go too much detail just because um, there's a lot of vicious people out there and there's a lot of people that put that out there. But if you, like I said, if you know, you know. But one thing, I wouldn't necessarily call it a career. I would call it um, a stepping stone into something bigger. Baby steps into something a lot bigger. So, but yeah, sorry about the lighting if it looks awful. But hopefully I answered some of you guys' questions. Um, I did get quite a few. So, here I'm going to show you guys all the ones. And I want to say thank you to everybody who um, asked a question. I really, really appreciate it. So... So I want to say thank you. It is 3 de la mañana and I'm about to finish this video and you'll be seeing it at 10 in the morning. So yeah, tengo mucho sueño, pero 
YouTube life always comes first, you know, Vienes, I've been up since 7 in the morning, um, I worked all the way to the afternoon, then came home, and then went back out doing other things, and I, you know, I always put, I always prioritize my YouTube channel because my YouTube channel is my baby, it's my child. Lo quiero con todo mi corazón, and I love each and every single one of you guys. Finish uploading this video onto YouTube. Um, give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Let me know what you like think about this vlog style. Um, what do you guys think about like this little mini Q and A? And also, my vlog show is Friday, so if you are interested, I'll give you like sneak peeks if you made it this far. What I'm gonna be selling? Oh, one a sneak peek that I'm gonna be selling. Um, I'm selling two Michelle watches in like very very pristine condition selling this one right here um, this is the classic deco the face is I believe a thousand dollars and this um, chain the strap is two hundred dollars and it's literally brand new and like like n like 9.5 percent condition like it has very very um, faint scratches but it is practically in like new condition with like all the links on it so I'm gonna you'll be seeing this on the vlog sale um, you'll be seeing this one right here. So this one, the face of it is eighteen, nineteen hundred dollars and the strap is four hundred dollars. So it still has a plastic and everything. It has the diamonds on it. Um, the, and these are full price styles. Like these are like outlet styles. Like I know like the one that I got from Bloomingdale's is an outlet style. But these are full price that you'll find like at Neiman Marcus and Bloomingdale's. So um, you'll be seeing... Um, You'll be seeing these watches on my vlog sale. Um, there is a lot of great stuff. There are a lot of great deals. Um, something like these would be a little bit just more on the pricier side. Just because they are. And basically like this one's brand new. And this one's been like very very like 9.5% condition. Like 95% perfect condition so you'll be seeing these two michelle watches you'll be seeing a lot more stuff a lot of designer handbags i have a montclair coat i have a burberry coat i have a YSL t-shirt you'll be seeing a lot of great items so i'll leave the link down below and like i said you'll see a video about my block so later on this week and yeah thank you thank you thank you so much for watching my videos i appreciate each and every single one of you y los guys on monday's video bye guys y los quiero mucho se cuidan mucho and i'll put some great sale links down below because the toy versus semi-annual sale is still going on and nordstrom and a lot of places are still having great sales so yeah bye guys take care i let i love each and every single one of you